All right, our first skill altar is going to be found out in Wenshaganaw. The easiest place to start from in order to get to this skill altar, by far in my opinion, is the Campfire of the White Gorges. Once you are here, if you head east out of the camp and then head north, you'll get to right about where we are on the map right now. And you want to make your way over to where you see the red marker. It's not immediately obvious that this is somewhere you can walk to. So when you get up here, you're going to see this kind of set of rocks that are in the middle of the uh, path. To your left, there is a small thicket of trees. And you need to walk through the trees. And as you get through them, you find this cave. And in here is your first skill altar. All right, still in the same zone, our next skill altar is going to be found north and east of the camp near the water. It is going to be located right up where you see the red marker at right now. You can go across the big bridge or there is a little tiny um, log bridge that's over to the right that you can cross if you have Vigor Level 1. Either one will get you up to where the skill altar is located. If you do try to cross the big bridge, just need to climb up this wall, wrap your way around to the right, and then back to the left, and you're going to see your skill altar located right up here. Alright, our next skill altar, still out in Wenshaganaw, is going to be located south-southwest of the Wenshavai camp, or the Wenshavai uh, little village. Once you do get here, you want to make your way down around through here down through here down past this door and then right down to where you see us at on the map right now once you get down here it is just around the corner on this cliff overlooking this shipwreck i will tell you you cannot repeat cannot get to this one in the beginning of the game you only get access to this area during a loyalty mission with Vasco where he needs to look for a ship. I don't want to give you a bunch of spoilers but just know you can't get here until you have completed or at least are on that mission. Alright our next skill altar is going to be found out in Vidrad. Nearest camp is going to be this camp right here. Once you do get to the camp head out to the east. Be aware if you're traveling at night or on your way to this one, you will definitely run into bandits. So if you're looking to avoid combat, keep that in mind. Once you do get out here, though, you want to come over to where we're at on the map right now, near the red mark. And it is right tucked up in here in this little nook. Past the board out tree, you're going to find your skill altar. Alright, still out in Vidrad, our next skill altar takes us north of the camp that you see marked on the map right now and east of a village that shares the same name as the camp. You can start at either one of those points, but once you do get there, you want to make your way up to the red mark that you see on the map right now. And once you get up in here, you will find your next skill altar. All right, our next skill altar is going to be found out in Glend Namvar. It's going to be just to the west of the camp that you see on the map right now. Here's where we are. Once you get here, you're going to find a small passage that leads to the red mark that you see on the map. Once you do get over here and head down this little pathway, you are definitely going to run into some bad guys, so keep an eye out for them, but the one thing that isn't always with the skill altar is this chest, so loot that when you come down here, you'll definitely find some goodies that may be helpful in your journey, but once you get those collected, head over here, you're going to need science level 1 in order to destroy this wall, and once you do inside, you're going to find your skill altar. Alright, our next skill altar, still out in Glen Namvar, is going to be located north and east of the abandoned village camp. Once you do get out here, it is literally right around the corner from the camp. Here's the camp, here's where we're at on the map right now, and here is where your skill altar shall lie. It's right up here by this big tree with the ropes around it. And that's what it looks like. Check the map one more time. Alright, our next skill altar takes us out into Magusvar. 
Let's take a look at the world map since we've kind of moved outside of the normal areas that you get to when you first leave New Serene. So we looked at Wenshaganaw, we looked at Vedrad, and we looked at Glen Namvar. But this area is north of Glen Namvar, so that's how you get to this one. Once you do get in here, you want to head to the western side of the map, which is over here near this camp. And it is down in a village that shares the camp's same name that you are going to find your next skill altar. Don't worry about the dogs, they won't attack you. Just head up in here next to the waterfall and you'll find your skill altar right here. Take a look at the map one more time. This is where we are. Alright, our next skill altar still out in Magusvar, just north of where we just were with the last skill altar. will be up here across the river, through the woods, and through quite a bit of combat, especially depending on where you are in the game when you're looking for this skill altar. Once you head across the river, you're going to want to head up near this thicket of trees. You see the nice shiny light in the back that will illuminate your skill altar. This is where the next one is. We'll take a look at the map one more time. Alright, our next skill altar is going to be found out in Magusvar as well. You're going to want to start here at the camp shown on the map right now. This area, if I recall correctly, is blocked to you early on in the game and only opens up once you get a quest from the Bridge Alliance Governor to go search for a research camp or a group of researchers that have been kidnapped. It's one or the other. But once you do get up in here, you want to make your way up to the northwest corner over by the waterfalls. You can probably hear in the background right now and now see. And then make your way out onto this little path and you're going to find your skill altar right here. Take a look at the map one more time so you can see where we're at. All right, our next skill altar is going to be found out in Tier Dub. You're going to find that north and west of Vidrad and north and just a bit west of Wen Shaganaw. Once you do get out here, though, you're going to want to make your way from one of the camps, either the Swamp Entrance Camp or from this camp shown on the map right now. This is also called, I think, the East Road Entrance. That one right there. But once you do get in here, make your way over to where you see me at on the map right now. Your... Skill Altar is going to be right about here up on this hill. We will head up through these bushes next to the big tree. And up at the top of the hill, you're going to find your Skill Altar. Back to the map one more time just to show you where we're at. All right, our next stop takes us to Steiger Falag. And since we're getting out, kind of out in the weeds here a little bit, let me show you some nearby areas. I'm not sure exactly where you'll be coming from to try to find this if you have not got it on your map already. Here's Magusvar. Here's Dorgrid, the Tall Trees, Tier Dob, where we just were, and Vidrod. So, uh, depending on which of these you've discovered and which road you take is what will ultimately lead you out here. Once you do get out here, though, you want to make your way to the kind of north-central area of the map, just north of the Wenshavar camp. Once you get up here, this is where you want to come to. And your skill altar is going to be located all the way back here. In this little cavern so back around here to the right and it's right here I'll show you where at we're at on the map one more time all right our next two skill altars take us out to the ancient woods again we're out in the weeds a little bit so let me show you what's around here here's Hikmet Steiger Falag and Mine Falag or however you pronounce that uh, once you do get out here though go to the local map Starting out the Rocky Bluff camp is probably the best place to start. It is not a straight shot west of the camp. You kind of have to walk around one way or the other. Once you do get over here, pay attention. Do not just run up into this one. You're going to run into traps. So let me show that to you. So here's where we are on the map. Here's the camp. This may be the first time you've seen traps in the game. I don't know. But as you walk over here, you're going to see this yellow haze. Anytime you see this in the game, it means there are traps on the ground you're going to need to defuse or disable. You can see the little sparklies. Hopefully, they're coming through in the video. And you're going to get the defuse trap uh, notification. This may be dependent upon... I think there's a talent. 
that allows you to spot trap traps easier. Yeah, lock picking makes enemy traps easier to see. If you have no lock picking, you may want to put on a piece of armor, like one of the knot armors that Vasco has that has lock picking on it early on. Grab that, slap that on. And as you come up in here, you can pick your way through here, diffusing traps as you go. And eventually, you'll make your way up to the top here. And the traps do respawn, so just keep it in mind. Eventually, you'll be able to make your way up through here, and here is your skill altar. So just keep, keep an eye out for those traps when you come up in here. Use that strategy, and you'll be able to get to this without blowing yourself up. All right, still out in the ancient woods, the next skill altar is going to be located in the southwestern corner of the map depending on where you are in the game the path to getting over here where you see me at right now may be blocked to you to unblock it you need to move the story along to the point where they ask you to track down a specific native who has the ability to heal the malachor um i don't want to get too deep into spoilers but just fyi that there's a quest that leads you over here and once it does it's gonna go ahead and open this area up and once the area opens up you'll head through here around to the left get into a bit of combat back in here depending on where you are in the game and what level you are and if you keep heading all the way to the back you will find your skill altar tucked back in here in this little nest of trees so here's where we are on the map right now. All right, our final skill altar takes us to the Rocky Mounts. You're gonna find it north of Steiger Falag and to the west of the Ancient Woods. Once you get out here, take a look at the local map here. You're gonna wanna make your way up to this camp or in its general vicinity. Once they do dump you out here, I believe you first start down here and have to make your way up the river kind of through here and then up into this area. You're not going to get access to this zone until later in the game, uh, quite a bit later in the game, actually, when you're pursuing someone named Vinbar. I don't want to get into spoilers again, but just know when you hear the name Vinbar, you're getting close to being sent to this area. Once you get out here, you're going to need either Vigor Level 3 or Vigor Level 2 paired with Science Level 1, and let me show you why. We go back to the game. Over here to the left, there is a large wall that you can only climb with Vigor Level 3. If you don't have that, Vigor Level 2 will allow you to make this jump right here. And then Science Level 1 will allow you to blow up this wall. And it is back in here that you wind up finding your skill altar. Now, if you don't have science level one for whatever reason, then you can just have vigor level three and climb up this wall right here, and that'll get you up here to the skill altar as well. Either one will do, but that's gonna wrap us up for all the skill altars. That's 15 in all that you should be able to pick up throughout your journeys in tier 4D. If you guys got questions, comments, or concerns, share them with me in the comments section below. But if you got anything out of the video, I sure would appreciate a like on the video or a sub on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.